So you have a sub and an amp that you want to power in your house, but there's one problem with that. I'll show you how to use an Xbox One power supply as the solution. So you'll need a few things to start this project, first being wire strippers, then scissors, a screwdriver, electrical tape, a box cutter, and a small piece of wire. Now just a quick disclaimer, this power supply is rated at a 16.5 amp output, and my amplifier has a 25 amp fuse. So keep in mind how much power you're putting into the amp, and how much power you're drawing from the supply. Now to get started, we'll be using the wire stripper and the box cutter first, and since I already did this step, I'll just show you what it looks like for example on the side that I didn't cut and strip. You're going to cut through the outer layer with the box cutter and make sure to do it on both sides. Then you're going to peel it back to expose the wires inside. You can cut off the outer layer that you peeled away and then begin stripping all the wires inside. After finishing that, you want to take the two yellow wires and twist those together as well as the two black wires. To make sure we're doing everything right, we're going to plug in the power supply and touch the red and the blue wire together and that should activate the white light on the corner. We can now begin wiring the system. So you want to take the two black wires and insert those into the ground socket. Now you're going to do the same thing with the yellow wires but instead we're going to put those into the 12 volt terminal. Our last step requires the extra piece of wire and you want to insert it into the remote or REM terminal and also connect it to the 12 volt terminal with the yellow wire. And finally, Twist the red and blue wires together and cover the exposed wire with electrical tape. After that you are done and your amp should look something like this. Plug in the power supply and the white light should come on as well as your amp. And after that, try some test tunes to make sure it works and you should be good to go. Now for those of you using an Xbox 360 power supply, depending on the version you're using, you may have three yellow and black wires, or you may have four. Now no matter how many you have, the same thing still applies with twisting the yellows together and twisting the blacks together. Anyway, that's it for the setup. If you have any questions, please leave them down below, and I hope this helps some of you guys out, but thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you in my next one.